Catherine. I came to Children's Macy to get a pick line. A pick line is a flexible straw that is usually put into your arm to give your body water, medicine, or to draw a tiny bit of blood. On the day of my procedure, I came to the hospital with my mom and went to the admissions desk. A nurse from the vascular access team met me and walked us to an area of the hospital called One Hall. When I got to my bed, a child life specialist came to meet me. She taught me all about the procedure and what I should expect. I also met another vascular access nurse. One nurse talked to my mom about the procedure and did paperwork, while the other nurse used a special camera to look at my arm. This camera is called an ultrasound. It is able to see my veins, the blue lines under my skin. It doesn't hurt, but the jelly is kind of cold. When the nurse found a vein, she marked on my arm with a pen and put a sticker over that. She told me the sticker had special medicine that would help my arm not feel the pokes as much. It got warm on my arm. That's how they knew it was working. Next, the child life specialist showed me a pic so I could see what it looks and feels like. She told me step by step what was going to happen so there were no surprises. I was able to ask any questions. This made me feel a lot better. When it was time to put my pick line in, they had my mom step into another room very close by. This helps to keep my pick line very clean and keep away extra germs. Then they used a paper tape measure to measure my arm. After that, the nurses and the child life specialists all put on hats and masks to help protect me from germs. Both nurses also put on blue gowns and gloves. Over my body, they put a blue blanket that covered the whole bed. The top of the blanket is very clean, so they asked me to keep my hands under it. While they set up the rest of the supplies, I was able to play on the iPad. She told me the nurses were going to wash my arm with cold, wet soap. Once my arm was clean and dry, they put a special drape on my arm that also helped to keep germs away. Then they tied on a tight rubber band that helped them to see my veins better. The nurses then used their special camera again. This showed them the right spot to do a little poke. The child life specialist asked if I wanted them to count one, two, three before the poke. I told them to count so I knew when to take deep breaths. The child life specialist held my hand and took deep breaths with me. Once the poke was done, they took the rubber band off. After that, they gave me more special medicine that helps me not feel any more pokes. This medicine gave my arm a funny feeling for about 10 seconds. Once the medicine was in my arm, I could feel the nurses touching my arm, but there were no more owies. When it was time to put the pick line in, the child life specialist helped turn my head towards the nurses and put my chin on my chest. They told me this helped the pick line go to the right place. After the pick line was in, they cleaned my arm with more cold soap and put on a special bandage called a dressing. Once the dressing was on, they were able to take off their hats and masks. Then the nurse was able to draw blood from the pick line. They told me while I'm staying here, I may not have to be poked anymore. After that, a radiology tech came to take a picture of me. The camera they used was called an x-ray. They had me lay on a board that helps my picture show up better and told me to take a deep breath in. The picture only took about a second. The nurses looked at the picture and my mom came back to the room. After a doctor looked at the picture, I was able to go home. The nurses and the child life specialist said I did a great job. I am so proud of myself. My mom is too.